As global energy demand intensifies, Queensland's abundant coal seam gas, or CSG, reserves play an increasingly important role in ensuring energy security. CSG provides a greener alternative to traditional fossil fuels, with a 50 to 70 per cent reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. With more than a decade of supplying CSG to Australia's largest industries, Origin Energy joined forces with US-based ConocoPhillips to position itself as a major international supplier of this powerful energy resource. Australia Pacific LNG, our 50-50 joint venture, will deliver a pioneering coal seam gas to liquefied natural gas, or LNG, development, enabling large-scale export of this resource to a growing world market. This 30-year project has two main streams. As the Australia Pacific LNG upstream operator, Origin will be responsible for the ongoing exploration, development and operation of the company's gas field facilities and supporting infrastructure. This includes the construction of a main pipeline system from the gas fields in the Surratt and Bowen basins to Gladstone and the proposed CSG to LNG facility on nearby Curtis Island. ConocoPhillips, in turn, will take on the downstream elements of the project, constructing and operating the LNG plant with its proven Cascade LNG technology and the marketing and export of the cooled, liquefied natural gas. The crucial first phase of the project will span about five years. It will see the development of the majority of the project's foundational infrastructure and be powered by a network of communication and electrification assets, including high voltage transmission and distribution lines. This will set Australia Pacific LNG up for long-term business, taking CSG to LNG operations to full production capacity. Subsequent phases will focus on consolidating this position and sustaining output at these high levels. A safe natural gas, CSG is found attached to the coal and within fractures or cleats in and around coal seam deposits, usually around 200 to 1000 metres below the surface. The gas is held in the coal by underground water pressure. Efficient and sustainable solutions to water removal are one of the primary technical challenges to CSG development. The drilling and completion of wells to extract the water and release the CSG represents the first stage in the upstream project process. Australia Pacific LNG will use cutting-edge, customised, hybrid coil tubing drilling rig technology. This will dramatically reduce drilling time and minimise the environmental impact and disruption to landowners. The gas and water is separated at the wellhead and then piped through the extensive network of underground flow lines which deliver the fluid to gas and water processing facilities. As well as drilling about a thousand wells and upgrading existing field facilities and auxiliary infrastructure in the project's first phase, Origin will construct seven new gas and two water processing plants using modularised units with more to follow in later phases. This modular approach allows for simple assembly on site and minimises disruptions for landowners and local communities. Once the gas reaches the plants, it is processed, compressed and metered for transport using the latest in gas processing and compression technology. A new electric-driven system will significantly reduce the number of compressors per plant, carrying out high reliability compression activities with lower cost, air and noise emissions. At Australia Pacific LNG's water treatment plants, the saline water drawn up with the gas is processed through reverse osmosis plants until it's clean and safe for agricultural and commercial reuse. Innovative secondary treatment options will boost water recovery and reduce the surface area of brine ponds by up to 70%. The final step in the process is to transport the gas by pipeline to the port of Gladstone, the Australia Pacific LNG facility on Curtis Island, where it will be liquefied for export. 
Australia Pacific LNG's deep commitment to safe and responsible leadership is reflected in its environmental impact statement, which includes a detailed list of environmental, social and Indigenous commitments that has become an industry standard. Maintaining the confidence and support of traditional and local landowners is of utmost importance. We have worked to build close, long-term partnerships through years of comprehensive public consultation. These relationships will help ensure that Australia Pacific LNG contributes to the preservation of cultural heritage and generates positive social and economic outcomes for each of these communities. Australia Pacific LNG's philosophy is to leverage and develop local capability through a commitment to hiring and sourcing supplies locally. Programs are in place to offer opportunities to disadvantaged groups to help drive growth in local and regional economies, boosting skills capacity and acting as a catalyst for improving local infrastructure long into the future. We're also investigating the Queensland and Federal Government's preferred option to return treated water to the Great Artesian Basin through a series of injection trials and other geological and hydrogeological studies. This game-changing project will employ thousands, boosting the Queensland economy by an estimated $2 billion annually, generating a new export industry and leaving a powerful legacy for Queensland's future generations. Launching new industry pathways and opportunities, the Australia Pacific LNG project promises to deliver a safe, reliable and long-lasting energy development.